Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this breakout video here, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your headlights from halogen to LED in a Mazda CX-9. This is a 2015 model, which is the facelifted version of the first generation. However, this upgrade can be applied to other CX-9 models along with other Mazda models as well, as they are known for having dimmer headlights. This is my girlfriend's vehicle, so a big shout out to her for letting me use this for my demonstration. I will have a full in-depth review in the upcoming weeks. She has been noticing extremely poor low beam performance while driving at night with the factory halogen bulbs. The headlight lenses are in still good condition so that isn't having a huge effect on the light output. After some searching online I did find that Mazda does have a common problem in this generation across their different models with poor headlight performance. Here I will be using these LED direct plug and play bulbs from Beaven C. A link to these will be included in the video description along with a coupon code for my viewers. This vehicle requires H11 bulbs for the low beams. This is their V45 model. They have a color rating of 6000K and are rated at 22,000 lumens. These are direct plug and play installation with no modifications or errors. The bulbs feature heat sinks with fans for quick heat dissipation, R120 watt for the pair, made from aluminum, IP68 rating and have a 100,000 hour lifespan. The replacement is fairly straightforward, minimal tools are needed. Starting with the passenger side first, remove the dome cover by rotating it counterclockwise. Using a 3 8 drive ratchet with a 3 inch extension and a 10 millimeter socket, remove the 3 bolts on the coolant reservoir. Once those bolts have been removed, then you can push the reservoir back towards the windshield. Do not disconnect the lines. Then in order to access the bulb, unclip the connector and rotate the bulb counterclockwise, then pull straight out. The camera angles for this are quite limited, however I'll provide a better photo for the driver's side. Finally is installing the new replacement bulb, plug in the electrical connector. The bulbs are polarity sensitive, so test the bulbs before finalizing the installation. If it doesn't work, simply rotate the connector 180 degrees. When putting the bulb in the housing, you'll need to rotate the bulb and work by feel in order to feel those alignment tabs, making sure they are properly in place. Push the bulb in, then rotate clockwise to lock it in. Always give the bulb a pull back to make sure it is locked into place. Finally is installing the protective cap. Rotate until you can feel those alignment tabs lock into place. Then rotate counterclockwise until it stops. Then fasten down the coolant reservoir. Install those three 10mm bolts and tighten. Do not over tighten them as it's only plastic. Moving on to the driver's side. Again the domed cap will need to be removed behind the headlight. There will be plastic tabs around the perimeter of the domed cap. Grab onto these, twist counterclockwise, then remove. It was hard for me to get a camera in here as well without my hand being in the way. As you can see there is a bulb and wire connector. You can unclip the connector first or after when the bulb is out, whichever is easiest for you. For me, I pulled the tang on the electrical connector and then pushed it off the light. I then rotated the bulb counterclockwise, pull out the bulb from the assembly. Plug in the electrical connector for the bulb, again make sure the polarity is correct. Then install the bulb into the headlight assembly. Align those tabs, push the bulb into place and then rotate clockwise until it stops. Finally is installing the protective cap. Rotate until you can feel those alignment tabs lock into place. Then rotate counterclockwise until it stops. Here's a comparison between the old halogen on the left and the LED replacement on the right. The wider light will greatly help with reducing eye fatigue. There is a substantial increase in light output with the LED. They greatly improve the aesthetics of the vehicle, quicker startup time, and have a lower operating temperature, reducing the deterioration of the plastic headlight lens. Projector housing works great with LEDs as they help focus the light and doesn't cause any irritation to fellow motorists. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found Storo helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.